just before the video starts, I'd like to let you all know that the, um, the Q&A that I started uh, in my last video uh, is still open and you are still able to post questions for that. So uh, if you have any questions, just pop them down in the comment section and I will answer them in my Q&A video. So yeah, thanks. So, hello everyone, I've come to Rill today because I've noticed through a source which I shall not name that the uh, demolition has begun on the Queen's buildings here in Rill. Now I'm facing the wrong way because the wind is so bad that you would not be able to hear me if I was facing the way of the uh, building, but I'll just show you. Okay, the wind has just slowed down now. It is really, I chose a crap day for this. It's actually really rainy. But you can see in here, in the former Savoy Amusement Arcade, that they are uh, pretty far in to the demolition. Um, so, for those who don't know, this building is sort of, uh, this is the newer part of the building. They seem to be starting from the newer part, going towards the much older area here, because this is planned uh, for the redevelopment of the Queen's Market. And uh, formerly, um, Parker Leisure owned, as you can see, Parker Leisure. They used to own, crap, I zoomed out a bit. They used to own um, this entire set of buildings but they had to give it up to the council because they couldn't afford it, I think. So they own the Queen's Bowling Centre down there and the Savoy Amusement Arcade here. They do still own the Bright Spot down there, which is still open, and they're investing in that, so we can assume that that is safe. But um, I would assume that from this side, this slightly newer little building, to this end, older building just where my hand is there that should be all due to go that's unless they plan to preserve the one part of the building that anyone cares about which is this to this this brick building is a very very old building it's from like 19 like you know early 1900s and it used to be the queen's palace it was called and i've explained this in my real lockdown vlog that i did last year um you see this piece of gabled roof here makes way for uh, what was the ballroom of this of this building, and um, it's a shame that they that they weren't able to get any grade listings for it because this was a this was a nice building. So we'll continue down just so we can have a look, see through. Because they've taken the sign off here. It seems like they're doing a bit more demolition down here with the doors and stuff. But aside from that, it's all happening at the back and they've only got this sort of thin piece of building. Is that a machine in there? Nah, it's not, it's a change proof. Weird. Um, yeah, wow. So yeah, you can see it's got all scaffolding to stop uh, debris from falling and a significant piece of the roof has been taken. So yeah, we'll uh, take a look somewhere else. So here we can see the building that is still occupied by uh, Parker Leisure, which is the, the Bright Spot building. Is uh, they're, they're investing in it because they've put this weird facade on and they, uh, they obviously plan to have it illuminated. This is probably for the casino that they added uh, just this year. Oh, no, it was last year, late last year. So yeah, that's interesting. But we're gonna carry on round. Sorry about the wind noise before. Wow. 
So in here we can see the market, the back area of the market, and then the door that takes you through to the old ballroom, I think. What are you doing? What are you pointing at? Yeah, the whole roof used to be this ornate. I can't see it because the things are focusing on the wrong part. You can see the ceiling. It's very ornate in there. Very Victorian style. And it does say 1902 at the top of this arch. Queen's, Queen's Arcade. Oh, it absolutely stinks of like old and construction at the same time. Do you know what the smell reminds me of? It actually reminds me of when you stood on a train platform and you can smell like the the oil smell. It smells like like bitumen or something. It's weird. Look at oh wait no that is the ballroom in there actually I'm a spend. Look you can see. They've taken the false ceiling out. It's just unrecognizable now. Yeah. That is the ballroom. I was wrong before because I said that that door goes to the ballroom. That door goes to the Queen's Bowling Centre and the back part of the market. Wow. I'm just going to get some zoom in here. So you can see up there is a balcony. Oh, you can barely see the roof. It's too dark. It's a shame they didn't have like lights or something. Because you can just about make out the ballroom roof. Wow. Last time that would be seen, probably. But you can see that they're not making any effort to preserve it. Look, you can see half of the... Half of one of the things that holds it up is missing. They're just getting ready to collapse it soon. So yeah. We'll carry on. You can really see the state of disrepair that they have this building in side alley has just been completely taken over by nature. Ooh. I hope they keep that arch. That arch is fine. They can keep that. <laughs> but they probably won't. We're coming around to where the action starts now. This is the back of Savoy. And you can see it's got some skips. Some demolition equipment. Um, so you can see, yeah, look, they've just got a big hole in the back of the arcade. You can almost see through to the promenade. Oh, you can't see on camera. You can see through to the promenade almost, though. And you can see they've they taken all of the roof tiles off. Probably, uh, probably scrapped them if they were worth anything. Maybe they were lead or something, I don't know. I don't know if you'll be able to see anything from the side of the road here. Oh yeah, this is this is great. Yeah, we can see loads here. Oh wow! Mmm, you can smell it. <laughs> the mouldy smell of a building that's been left to rot for years. It's disgusting. <laughs> Oh, you can see in there though, Jesus. I'm not too sure what that is there. Part of the uh, older part of the market. Oh wait, no, that's where we were just looking through, wasn't it? Just about. Carry on. Wow. So yeah, 
that just demonstrates the lack of uh, well so how far did the build so the building obviously came out to here and then this was an access road which maybe took you uh, I don't know because couldn't you get on the roof of it somewhere I don't know I'm not sure I'm, maybe I'm being a spank so yeah Savoy amusement with no floor. Actually still smells like Savoy amusements. It smelled different to the rest of it, it was less mouldy in there. Now I'm going to have to take some pictures. I wish there was somebody here to ask if they could take that side off for me, Jesus. That's great. So yeah, you can see the Savoy Cafe sign, that predates Savoy Amusement signs. It's a vehicle. Don't want to film the people inside the car. But yeah, wow. Well. So, hopefully I'll be back next week to give more updates on this. Um, it's incredibly sad that they're getting rid of this building because it, it does hold a special place in the hearts of many, including myself. Because uh, I used to come here as a kid and play on the machines, and it's probably part of the reason why. Uh, part of the reason why I even like arcades, and you know, definitely inspired me to take an interest by coming to these places. So it's really sad to see them go, but. To be honest, for a struggling town like Rill, especially during the current climate, it is good for them to be, uh, you know, getting rid of the old and bringing in the new. And I really hope to see some new developments on this site because I think they plan to put a new market on there, but I don't know how profitable that will be. Maybe another arcade, I don't know. <laughs> the bright spot's staying though, so at least part of it's going to still be preserved. The bright spot is probably just a bit newer than this uh, this part of the building that we're looking at here but uh, yeah it is still really sad to see it go so yeah thank you for watching uh, it's good to be able to uh, show you uh, what they're doing to this poor building and uh, yeah hope you enjoyed